So I highly recommend having a space for your grooming stuff because it will grow. Um, this is Grissom's grooming closet. Don't mind me in the mirror. I have no makeup on today. Okay, so um, we have just a little countertop that we built into a closet. We bought a piece of countertop and installed it. Um, you'll want to keep track of all the things that have to happen just to make sure you don't miss things and get tangles. I'd use um, this one specifically a show pillow that's made for doing up, um, top knots and things. We both prefer that one. It's actually an airline pillow, travel pillow, and he works. it works great. And then um, you're going to need some supplies. So um, my favorite bands are these Paul Marks bands and here, band cutting scissors. These are face scissors. I noticed they've got a, um, like a blunt tip so you don't get them in the eye. These are regular scissors. And then these are um, curved. And you're going to be, I'm sure, very familiar with scissors since you were a cosmetologist. So hopefully you save them and you won't have to buy expensive scissors. Okay, this bra of many is fantastic. You'll notice how close together all the teeth are on this little guy. And um, it's great for faces, for toe beans, lips, things like that. So highly recommend this one, the whale bra of many. Sorry, it's super dirty. You can see that. This is what I use for his body clipping. It's also a whale, in, um, or I think it's pronounced wall. Um, Arco is the brand. Um, you don't necessarily have to get the pet specific one. I think they're identical. I just thought the little paw prints were cute. And then I'll save it for a separate video, but I'll show you um, which guards I use on his body uh, versus other stuff. So when it comes to grooming gear, my absolute favorite is Chris Christensen. This wooden pin butt brush, specifically the small one, don't buy the big one, it's kind of hard to handle. Um, small wooden pin brush. This one's better for bigger tangles and I especially like this fresh out of the bath for grooming. Um, these are all also Chris Christensen ones um, and my order of use and preference is this. So this is the best one. It's a, I think it's a, hold on, I'll tell you what it is. It is a 006 butter comb. That's kind of important because if not, you get a big comb like this. And this one's the one that you like for really good eye cleanup and stuff like that. This one is the triple zero butter comb, probably the most popular. Um, but I find it's a little bit big. Even when you're doing body, I sometimes grab this guy and then... The last one is the number two butter comb. This is also referred to, I think, as a poodle comb because it's got the, the larger teeth. Um, but this is great for just, you'll notice we do a tangle, what do we call it? Uh, a knot check. Yeah, that second item up there. Um, this is great for just finding knots, although it will certainly piss him off when I find one. Um, this is just a comb that I use for parts and I do like it. It's a silk comb. Uh, this is just for picking up stuff from his eyes and also cleaning out brushes. And then I think one of my videos talks about, I'm sorry, talks specifically about the toothpaste that we use. So that's all for now. And uh, I'll send you some comb information in a moment.